Hey guys, welcome to Outlaw Edge. So uh, this morning, we're going to be taking off. Uh, we're heading to Bedette, Minnesota, which is about, uh, I guess it's like an hour and 40 minutes or something like that from my place. And I'm waiting for Colton to show up right now. And uh, we're going to roll up to uh, Paco's place and go hang out with him and work on his transmission, get his transmission pulled out of his car and then put the other transmission in today and whatever. And uh, we're going to be heading out. And just a little bit, as soon as Colton shows up, I'm at the shop now waiting on him. And he should be just a few minutes. And then uh, I'll probably run back to the house and tell Heidi bye and whatever and, and get some more coffee. And then uh, we're going to start our adventure for the day. And I figure what I'll do, take you guys along with me. Thanks for watching. Turn on, suck us from the top. I'm missing the cops. <clears throat> Anyways, so we're on the road. I picked up Colton, and we're rolling. We're gonna. Uh, I was just hitchhiking. You were hitchhiking. I was just hitchhiking. He was hitchhiking, and he was a prostitute, so I picked him up. Ten <laughs> dollar. <laughs> um. So we're gonna head up to uh, Kevin's, like I was saying, and we're gonna go up there and pull that transmission out and goof off with him all day. And I can't stay up there too long today because I got a lot of stuff to do, but we'll see what happens. But I figured I'd take you guys along with us. Anything you want to say? I don't know. You don't know that's all you want to say? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> so Colton hasn't even seen uh, Kevin's car, Paco's car. Um, so it, it should be fun. I haven't seen it either, to be honest. I've seen a lot of pictures and stuff like that. We've seen it on Instagram. And uh, I think on YouTube and stuff like that, but I keep saying stuff like that. I do that all the time on camera. Why do I say that? I don't know why you say stuff like that. <laughs> but uh, I'm going to keep driving. Maybe. Unless you want to drive. You want to drive? I don't want to drive. It's going to be a long drive. It doesn't matter to me. All right. But I'll get off this camera, and then uh, when we get there, I'll try to film a bit more in a bit. Later. Really? You're wearing a damn mask? You jackass. <laughs> so this car, he built this out of like a... Uh, man, it was like a whole mess load of cars. Yeah, whatever. He built this out of like seven different cars, all piles of junk. <laughs> Turbo. <laughs> Which one? The one on the right. What's that? The one on the right. Go look at it. Oh, yeah? Yeah, baby! Hell yeah. Yeah, that thing's crazy. You know how it is though when you're trashing on something man you don't get time oh, to put I nothing know. away. I know. It's like our shop right now is trashed. Uh Colton and I were in there and then uh last night um I had a couple other guys in there <laughs> welding and stuff and uh I think they cleaned up more than we did <laughs> when they were done. Man, your header bolts are loose as hell. Well, I hadn't had a chance to retorque them down yet. Yeah, after they warmed up or whatever? Yeah. Yeah. Because I only drove it not even a quarter tank yet. <clears throat> and then the tranny started slipping, so. Oh, I didn't know it was slipping. Yeah. Yeah, I, I thought it was just a. Uh, well, and, and it ran like a pooch. Yeah. And I didn't like the hard, high RPMs, you know, cruising at 3,000 RPMs. Yep. It kind of sucked. Yeah, I didn't know it was uh, giving you problems with the slipping too. So. Yeah, I turned the corner the other day and hammered on it, and it went nowhere. Yeah, I went to pass a guy, and I looked like an idiot. <laughs> like seriously. 
I just, when, I'm gonna take this plug out too, and when we take this plug out and make sure them ports are open. Okay, yeah. Maybe that's why it's not overheating. Three thermostats and now no thermostat. Oh, cause you, you burp it with those, don't you? What's that? Is that what you're doing with those? No. What do you need to take it out for? Well, it's a plug. I want to look down in that port to make, oh, sure, to make sure it's clear. The gasket's not like if I put it on oh, backwards right, right, right. or some damn yeah. thing. Yep. I don't think I did. Uh. There's fluid and stuff in there, you know? Yeah. So I don't think I did, but it's not overheating. I'm not saying anymore, I did. Is you know? it still overheating though? Yeah, if I sit and idle too long, it does. Yeah. It starts to. So I, and I drove that 35 or 32 Chevy all the way to grand forks and back and it never got up to 150 hardly. right so it's like hmm you know make sure you mark that left side <laughs> okay. just say okay and agree with us yep. <clears throat> i gotta fix this tripod this real quick <laughs> <laughs> Are you an idiot? Yeah. Yes, that's it. <laughs> Story of my life. There you go. Who took my wrench? Bitch, you took my three quarters? No, I took the ten now. No, that one right there. Oh, yeah, I did take that three quarters. Come on. Don't ever touch my tools again. Spanky. Easy there, Ghost Rider. <laughs> we got shit to get off yet. We still got drain the I don't want my motor falling out. <laughs> it can't come out. I'm not pulling pull them out yet, but. Okay. I know how, how, how giddy up. Leave the plugs get. in or take them out so we don't break any. This should be fine, though. They should be fine. I got spares if we do. Yeah. All right. I like these. This is sweet. Yeah, well, it's going to have to get cut off. Oh, you got to cut that bitch off? Probably. Right here, huh? Yeah. Well, I'll probably cut it down here so it's. Yeah. Oh, just so it's out of the way? Yeah. What do you need? You need this one out? Yeah. It's probably underneath too, though. What is it, three quarters? Yeah, I got it. I got it right here. Yeah, well, there's one underneath too. I got it. It's a lock now. Are your fingers that strong? Yep. Yeah. Then I can loosen up the radiator here pretty good enough. Grab me three quarters. Ah. <laughs> Come on! Hey. <coughs> I got the Rona. Do you? Me too. <coughs> you want a ratchet or a... Uh, probably a wrench. You have one an extra wrench. Now you're looking. Yeah? Bang. Well, hell. <coughs> Drug sale, fine. What the hell, man? Three quarters. <laughs> Sweet. I can't pass up the garage sale. Yeah, right? You get the six box end wrenches for 50 cents. What? Yeah. For real? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, you don't pass those kind of deals up. Even if you have 15 of them. Exactly. Because <clears throat> I'm always using shit. Yeah. Yeah. Could have bought a whole tote full of wrenches for five bucks the other day. Yeah. Yeah. So I bought them. I was them. hoping you'd get mad there. I was going to say, why did you get it? They're Stromberg, um, Stromberg spark plugs. I've never seen them. They're yeah, a blue, a blue and red box. And they're fairly them. old. You bought them though? Yeah. Almost of them for two bucks. Yeah. <laughs> Holy and then crap. they had a box of. Uh... So. Uh, we're trashing on getting this motor out, but there's a little bit of a glare right here. Can't really do much about that, but I'm going to keep changing the camera angles for you guys so you can see. Yeah, this radiator in and out a couple times, huh? No. 
No, with the bracket down here though, it looks like you just cut it off. Well, I made a bracket for it to sit on so it sat the height I wanted. Yeah. That's all. I'm gonna have to cut my branch on off next so we get the radiator out. It cracks me up that the coat thing that people trip out on. It. Yeah. No, it's like nobody's seen antifreeze before. I know. Well, probably it's probably because it's, it's not old antifreeze, you know? Yeah. Well, yeah, it is. It's the green stuff. No, no, I mean, but it's brand new, right? Yeah. For us in green, you know? Fifty-fifty diluted, brought to you by Presto, by that Apple Valley. On sale right now for eight ninety-nine. Good lord. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. I'm turning into game show host today. Oh. Easy there! Jeez! I don't know how to get I know. We need, I should have brought my. Uh... <clears throat> out of the way. You gotta cut this first or you wanna do the train lines? I wanna get the train lines off first because then I'll cut that and then we just yank that right out. You know what size they are? Yeah, they're straight. They're what? Hey, did you disconnect the battery? Stop. No, I did not. Crazy bastard. What are you doing? Trying to freaking short us off. Remember earlier when I told you to disconnect the battery? Yeah, no. I forgot. <laughs> I did too, it's alright. I opened the trunk for you to do it. <laughs> yeah. Nope. So cool, this Camaro's going again though. I, I see, I heard the picture. Yeah? I heard the pictures. I seen the video. <laughs> What's all this fiber crap? Is that from that, that cooler? Out of that cooler? Oh, really? Yeah. That's why I weighed 800 pounds. Oh wow. I was wondering what the hell that crap was. Yeah, that stuff. And it's wet, and it was heavy, and it had ants living in it. Nasty. It was. Wow. Sounds like an ant cave. Keep it clean. <laughs> God damn it. I mean, I mean, gall darn. Me and my limited muscles. So we gotta cut this even before that radiator comes up, huh? Yeah. I think I cut them here though. Yeah. But it's gonna be in the way of the motor home. Yeah, like you so said. I just cut them as low as we can. We'll just yeah. re-weld it. All right. It's not like it's much of a support. It's just yeah. more for looks. And I figured it takes the the pressure off of the radiator, you know? Yeah. Holding up the everything else is why I did it the way. I don't have to explain myself to you, do I? Just do it. <laughs> should be enough to slide it off. Right. But this way, because it's squared on the end, I'm in, I'm in the thing. The doohickey. Hose clampy? Yeah, there, now it should go. Pull the hose. Mm. If, you, if you're man enough. God dang. I like my shit tight. Woo! Head rush. It's just on there because I flared it so much. I don't like leaks. You know what I mean? Yep. Do I gotta come over there and pull? I guess. Damn. Uh, Holy balls. Guy with pinched nerves gotta do all the muscles. <laughs> I'm gonna need my bad arm even. 
Just push him out of the way. Yeah. I'm not that mean. I'm easily pushed. That bitch is on there, huh? Yeah, I guess I did pretty good getting that one on, didn't I? Yeah. Okay, pry it a little if you can. Did it go? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Good gravy. Yeah. No. All right, cut that bitch now, no? Yeah. I like gravy. Shut the hell up. <laughs> he does this all day long, man. Right? All day long. I'm going to put my other hose clamp now. Oh, it's on that side here. Here, let me have it. <clears throat> Watch your eyes, man. Safety glasses, dumbass. Oh, yeah, yeah, right? Where's your glasses, dumbass? I didn't bring it. <laughs> silent you can't hear me because all the noise <laughs> yep exactly <laughs> Thank you, stupid canoe. <laughs> <laughs> it is nothing left. You got it all on the floor? Yeah. It's not oh. much, dog. Nice. Well, there's that nut and other thing I was looking for. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. Oh. What the hell are you doing? I don't know. Uh, same thing you did. <clears throat> Making a mess. You know what? <clears throat> this portion of the video brought to you by Coke. What are you doing? Had a weird taste in my mouth. Probably got antifreeze on this. The only thing that sucks. <laughs> I hope this transmission works. <laughs> Serious? But, well, the guy said it did when he took it out. Yeah, they always say that crap. Though, but. Yeah, but why did he take it out, though? That's because the they were getting rid of the car. Oh. It's like the car what kind of distributor is this? Uh, and don't say small box Chevy. An SBC one? <laughs> oh, man. One off of eBay. Yeah? Yeah, just, you know, regular whatever. Why? Oh, it was only like 40 bucks. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, you can't. Nope. Well, you could, but. <clears throat> what do you want to do? Well, what else we got left? Relax for a minute. Let me get this um, transmission. Maybe it's going to crawl underneath this side over here. Okay. <laughs> Relax. <laughs> crawl up underneath this side and undo the um, U bolts at the rear end on the yoke. Oh, okay. No, no, no. No? You want to leave the drive line in or you want to just yeah, take it out? we'll just take the drive shaft out because the fucking drive line's welded in. Oh, oh really? Right? Because the fucking... Yeah? Yeah, it's not coming off. All right. So we're, we're going to have to slide shit. Oh, because of that, that yes. deal you had problems with you were telling me yeah. about. Yeah. Okay, so don't do that. Right. No. All, All right, right so undo this right here. Right here. Oh, okay. The ground wire. I got this one off, bro. Bro. Right here. Oh, that transmission fluid's nice and clean. What a waste. Oh, no, right? Um, grab a uh, 5 8 wrench. 5 8 is the same shit. Yes. 
Yeah, I'll wait till I'm out of here though, because I don't want to feel left on me. Easy with that, don't bend it. Uh, I'm not trying to. I don't want to have to replace that. Mm -hmm. My oil thing was leaking already. Piss off. <laughs> <laughs> we'll edit that part out. <laughs> Choo -choo. <laughs> so this isn't like TV, this is like real stuff. What are we gonna do it? About 45 minutes right now? Yeah. About 45 minutes or so, we're about ready to pull the motor out. He's got a couple bolts to undo on the transmission. And uh, after that, we have to, uh, we'll split the transmission and the motor when we get it inside the shop or out here, so we don't make a mess inside the shop. And then, uh, We'll start stabbing this thing back in, but what we're going to do is before we do that, we'll pull this car inside the uh, inside the uh, shop. And this car is badass. I'll have to show you. It's got red windows. I don't know if you can see my hand behind it. And look at the steering wheel and stuff in this thing. Door panels. I mean, this car is sick. turned out nice and he built this thing in an um what hey what'd you build this in like four months or something nine. was it that long yeah god it actually, seemed like actually longer because of the coronavirus i lost interest yeah because the government was scaring us for no reason <laughs> right yeah it's it, he jammed it along pretty quick though You gotta scoot the jack this way, bro. Better? Well, that's where it's going. Hit something, but I ain't worried about it. Oh, it's just hitting that thing. Someone out there probably already knows our answer. Yeah, right? What size is a two speed power glide compared to a 28 and a half? 350 28 and a half, 28 and a half. Sweet. It's going to fit. I might have to shave some these blocks off on the side well the only thing i was worried about is right here this hump is a little bit different you know but yeah, i think i'm gonna have fine. to shave some of these off though i know yeah you have to do that on this one yeah see yep so no big that ain't no biggie mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> don't cry <laughs> come on Paco. <clears throat> my name's kevin <laughs> <laughs> I N, not E N, like the retards. <laughs> <laughs> or you're gonna get yelled at. So the motor, we fought like crazy, getting the torque converter back in. Had to end up using another torque converter that he had. Transmission's back on. There's a bracket that's in the way. He's cutting it off right now, and motor's going back in the car. And it's been about, I don't know, about half hour or something like that. Hasn't been too long, maybe 12 hours. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, we just had some lunch. Paco bought us some pizza. That was awesome. So this is gonna be our next uh, rat rod that we build. I wanna build another rat rod, but I wanna build a coupe real bad. So I think this will be a fun project. We're gonna load this in the truck and take it home. He gave that to me for my birthday. 
my birthday was a while back, but we just got up here to pick it up. So, um, so we just had a bunch of pizza. We're stuffed. Mm, sounds like we're gonna go, like blow up something or shoot up something. We'll see what happens. 12 gauge shotgun Typhoon X12. Yep. Yeah, that thing's oh, crazy, cool. huh? Yeah, that's all you need right there. Oh, yeah. I'm home defense. <laughs> I need one of these. <laughs> Walker, they got them. <laughs> awesome. Glock 19X. Yeah. That's it. I like that one. That's a sweet one right there. That's my personal carry. This is yeah. nine mil. Yep. Oh yeah. And this kid deserves it because he's catching a lot of shit from us, so we got a belt buckle for him. <laughs> <laughs> Say hello to my little friend. Here you go. <laughs> you guys are horrible. <laughs> oh, Where man. the heck did you get this from? An antique store. <laughs> An antique store. <laughs> See, when I went over to Italy, it's like there was just penises plastered. <laughs> like, the okay, so the, okay, so there was a penis bottle opener, right? <laughs> and this chick walks by. She's all like, "Dad, can I get one?" And starts stroking it. It's like he turned around, and snapped at her so badly. It's like, have you guys ever amazing. noticed that every time we get together, our conversations just go? Oh yeah. 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 We better get some work done. It's dark. Right. <laughs> Come on, little friend. See right there somewhere? Actually, you don't even really need a funnel. Oh, I see. So we got everything put back in the car, and it's pretty much finished up, and we're getting ready to fire it right now. So it's been a long night, or long day, and it's starting to yeah. get, get pretty late in the day now. So. It's, it's nighttime now. <laughs> what is it about? Yeah, it's like 3.30, something like that. So it's been a couple hours since we uh, were over at his house having pizza and stuff, goofing off. And then, uh, so we're gonna go ahead and fire this thing and call it a night. Thanks for watching. Is that oil, uh, oil sending unit okay? Not leaking? I don't know. 